Keev Audio in the past have released one of my favorite free VST plugins in their Warmy EQ, and now they've released a free compressor plugin called the Extressor Nuke. But this just has a small set of the features from their much larger paid for plugin called the Extressor. So I want to check out the free Extressor Nuke to see if it can stand on its own with its limited feature set and if it's worth adding to your plugin library. It's available on Mac or Windows in VST3, AU, and AAX formats. You can see this is a very straightforward compressor plugin. It has input and output controls here. You have an auto gain button, which can help you with gain matching. Then you have a release button that scrolls through some preset release options. Then along here, you have your gain reduction meter and they're kind of like LED style lights there. You have some options here, which is basically just changing the size of the plug and you can go from 75% up to 150, which makes it very large. And then here you have built-in undo and redo buttons, AB testing if you want to do that, a side chain high pass filter. You can do oversampling with this up to 16 times. You have a mix knob and then there are some built-in presets. Plus you have the ability to save your own presets and load them up within the plugin itself. So you'll notice there's no ratio controls like you would typically find on a compressor plugin. And that's because this is always in nuke mode and nuke mode is on the Expressor hardware compressor. And it's kind of like your all in mode on an 1176, something like that. So that's going to make this a fairly aggressive compressor plugin. You'll also notice that there's no attack controls on there as well. So you're just going to adjust the input to get the gain reduction that you want. And then you would adjust the output to do your gain matching, or you could try the auto gain matching feature with that button there. Now you can see in this project, I have it all over the place. I have it on the mix bus. I have it on vocals. I have it on the drum bus, my bass guitar and on my guitar bus. So it's all over the place. Let's just play this track with everything on and then I'll turn it all off so you can hear the difference and then I'm going to dig in a little further. Cruising with the top down, I really want you around, but you say you got more and more things to do. So instead I head to the beach drive, three friends jump in to catch a ride and they decide to party the whole night through. So let's dig in a little more in here and I'm going to turn off the mix bus version right now. And we're going to go to our drum bus and we'll see what's going on here. So let's just listen to it on and off. So you can hear I'm using it fairly gentle for this type of compressor anyway. All right, now let's get aggressive with this on our drums. So I switched it over to the B here and we can do our AB testing. Let's check this out. All right, let's listen to this in the mix now. All right, that's pretty aggressive there. If you want that squash drum sound, you can definitely get it. Maybe use this on like a parallel drum track and just squash it. That could be cool. Now let's go over to my vocal track right here and we'll see what's going on with that. Cruising with the top down, I really want you around, but you say you got more important things to do. You can hear there's parts in there that dip down when I turn it off. So let's just listen to that again. With the top down, I really want you around, but you say you got more important. So that was on. Cruising with the top down, I really want you around, but you say you got more important things. 
you can see those quieter parts really dip down and this aggressive compressor is bringing everything up. It's kind of nice on vocals. Cruising with the top down, I really want you around, but you say you got more important things to do. Yeah, I really like what it's doing to the vocals there. It's very easy to set up. I think with this, I, it was pretty much set up right from the get-go. I just had to adjust the output gain for the gain matching and that was it. Now, let's just check out everything with it on our mix bus here because the changes that I have on the bass guitar and my guitar are very subtle. I just want to check it out on our mix bus now. So uh, here is everything together. Cruising with the top down, I really want you around, but you say you got more important things to do. So instead I head to the beach drive, three friends jump in to catch a ride, and they decide to party the whole night through. Again, I'm using it just fairly subtle for this type of compressor, and it just adds a little something to the overall mix when it's engaged. So in my opinion, the Extressor Nuke is a fun little compressor that can quickly and easily add some attitude to whatever you want to put it on in your mix, including the entire mix itself. Now check out their excellent free EQ plugin by clicking the video on the screen. If you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up. Also subscribe to the channel for more videos like this. Thank you so much for watching. For Audio Tech TV, I'm Zane. Keep creating and we'll talk soon.